Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, configuring floating static routes. This packet tracer activity is from uh, CCNA routing and uh, switching. Here we can see uh, the topology and uh, also we can see the packet tracer activity. Uh, in this packet tracer activity, we are going to uh, configure an IPv4 floating static route, uh, test failover to the IPv4 floating static route and configure and test failover for an IPv6 floating static route. We will come to uh, part 1. Uh, configure an IPv4 floating static route. Uh, so uh, before that we will configure an IPv4 static default route. Uh, configure a directly connected static default route from edge router. Yes, here we can see uh, edge router. Uh, to the internet, the primary default route should be through ISP1. Yes, uh, here we can see ISP1. So the primary route uh, from these end devices PCA and PCB uh, to internet, uh, I mean to this web server is ISP1. We will come to edge router and we will configure this uh, uh, default route. Enable configure terminal and we will give IP root 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 space 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. And we have to specify the exit interface. So we have to check, uh, as they told, the primary, uh, uh, the default route, I mean the primary default route is ISP1 uh, to reach to this internet. So here we will verify the interface, exit interface. Yes, it is a CDL 0 slash 0 slash 0. We will set that here. CDL 0 slash 0 slash 0. Next is uh, display the contents of the routing table. Uh, verify that the default route is visible in the routing table. Yes, uh, so we can see using the show command show IP root uh, on edge router. Yes, coming to edge router. Yes, we are in privilege more. We'll give show IP root. And we can see, yes, here we can see the uh, default route and uh, the exit interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. What command is used to trace a path from a PC to a destination? Yes, we have a command called tracert uh, to trace a path from a source to a destination. Next, we can see you know, from PCA Trace the route to the web server. Okay, coming to the topology, here we can see the device PCA and here is our web server, right? Uh, the route should start at the default gateway, exactly. So that is 192.168.10.1. Uh, that is uh, the IP address of uh, this interface, the default gateway for uh, uh, this PCA. And to go through uh, the 10.10.10.1 address, Yes, if you see this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on edge router, uh, the IP address is 10.10.10.2. Uh, so here this IP address 10.10.10.1 is obviously the IP address of this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on ISP1. Okay, uh, if not, uh, check your static default route configuration. Uh, before coming to PCA, uh, we can see the IP address of this web server, 198.0.0.10. So we are going to uh, trace it uh, to this web server from PCA. Uh, coming to PCA, command prompt, here we are going to give a trace search and to the IP address, so destination IP address, 198.0.0.10. Yes, here we can see. Uh, it is uh, tracing root and here we can see the IP address, this IP address of uh, uh, the default gateway of this PC and here we can see the IP address 10.10.10.1, uh, yes, as they uh, told and this is the uh, destination IP address and trace completed. Well, uh, now we will uh, go to uh, step 2. 
configure an ipv4 floating static route yes now we will see what is floating static route now what is that administrative distance of a static route yes we know that administrative distance of a, a static route uh, i mean the recursive uh, is obviously one next is configure a directly connected floating static default route with an administrative distance of 5 the route should point to isp2 yes here we can see we are going to set the static default route with administrative distance yes this is nothing but the floating static route coming to the topology here we can see uh, we are going to set the floating static default route through isp2 uh, so here we have to uh, check the exit interface so uh, that is a serial uh, i will check it here yes yeah, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 come on now we will come to uh, edge router enable configure terminal here we are going to give ip root 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 0 0.0.0.0 space 0 0.0.0.0 and here the exit interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and here we can see we can specify the distance uh, metric for this route so as they specified here we are going to give 5 uh, next is uh, view the running configuration and to verify that the IPv4 floating static default route is there as well as the IPv4 static default route. Okay, we will come to Edge Router and we will verify that. Show running config. Yes, we will verify that now. Yes, here we can see that. This is the primary uh, default route and also we can see the floating default route what we set. Now we will go to uh, the next display the contents of the routing table is the ipv4 floating static route visible in the routing table explain obviously it will not but we will verify that coming to edge router you will give show ip route yes here we can see we have only the primary default route yes through serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is going through isp1 to the internet yes here the floating static route is not visible in this routing table uh, keep in mind uh, routers will only place the best path in the routing table so uh, this uh, i mean the floating static route will be uh, will only be visible in the routing table when the primary route goes down great job now we will come to part two Test failover to the IPv4 floating static route. On edge router, administratively disable the exit interface of the primary route. Yes, here we can see uh, on edge router, the primary route is through uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we are going to uh, disable uh, this interface uh, using no shut command. Coming to the edge router. We will go to the interface. Before that, we have to go to the global configuration mode. Configure terminal. Interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we are going to shut down it using shutdown command. Verify that the IPv4 floating static route is now in the routing table. Okay, we will verify that now. We will give show IP route and uh, here we can verify yes now we can see the exit interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 it's through ISP2 to the internet yes you can see when we disable uh, this uh, path uh, through ISP1 to the internet uh, it uh, takes over through serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 through ISP2 to the internet now we will trace the route from PCA to the web server. Yes, so we are going to trace from PCA to uh, this web server. Uh, obviously, uh, it will go through ISP2 to this web server. 
we will see the IP address of serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 that is 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 6. We will come to PCA command prompt here we are going to give tracer yes here we can see the IP address 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 5. Yeah, previously it was a 10.10.10.1. Now it is going through ISP2 uh, to the internet, I mean to this web server. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did the backup route work? Yes, obviously uh, it works. Uh, if not, wait a few more seconds for convergence and uh, then uh, retest. If the backup route is still not working, investigate your floating static route configuration. Okay, now anyway in this uh, activity it is working. Now uh, restore connectivity to the primary route. Yes, so we will enable this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, on edge router so that it will uh, traffic through ISP1 to the internet. Configure terminal, we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we will give no shut command. Next is uh, trace the route from PCA to the web server to verify that the primary route is uh, restored. Yes, we will verify that coming to PCA. We'll give trace it and here we can see yes now we can see it uh, goes through isp1 to the internet 10.10.10.1 well uh, now we will come to uh, part 3 that is configure and test failover to an ipv6 floating static route yes previously we have seen uh, for ipv4 now we are coming to ipv6 Configure an IPv6 floating static route. Here the IPv6 static default route to ISP1 is already configured. So what is uh, our duty? Configure an IPv6 floating static default route with an administrative distance of 5. So we have to, uh, I mean we are going to configure a floating uh, IPv6 floating static default route with an administrative distance of 5. And here we can see the root should point to IPv6 address. Uh, here they given the address uh, of ISP2. Now we will come. Now we will come to edge router. Okay. Enable. So before going to uh, IPv6 uh, floating static root, uh, I am going to check show IPv6 uh, interface brief so that we can check the IP address of serial 0 slash 0 uh, slash 1. Here we can see the IPv6 address of the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Uh, DB8 colon A colon 2 double colon 2. So uh, we have to uh, specify the next hop address uh, that is the IP address uh, or uh, the IP address of uh, uh, the router in this ISP2 in the same network. So that is a 2 uh, double colon 1. We will set that now. Configure terminal. Here we are going to give IPv6 root double colon slash zero and we are going to specify that uh, next hop address IPv6 address of next hop that is 2001. I will copy from there. Okay. Here it is. Yes, I am going to copy that. We will paste it. Yes. And now we will uh, specify uh, administrative distance uh, as 5. Next is uh, view the running configuration to verify that the IPv6 uh, floating static default route is now listed under the IPv6 static default route. Yes, we will verify that now. Coming to the edge router. Here we are going to give show running config and we are going to verify uh, this IPv6 uh, for, um, for floating static route. Yes, here we can see. Here we can see the default uh, route and here we can see uh, floating uh, default route with administrative distance of 5. Well, now we will come to uh, step 2 
test failover to the IPv6 floating static route. On edge router, administratively disable the exit interface of the primary route. Yes, so in this router, we are going to disable this interface uh, so that uh, we will we can communicate uh, through ISP2. We will come to edge router. Now we'll disable it to enable configure terminal. We are going to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we are going to shut it down. Now verify that the IPv6 a floating static route is now in the routing table. Okay, we will verify that. Okay. Show IPv6 route. Here we are going to yes, here we can see that floating static route with administrative distance 5. Now we will uh, trace the route from PCA to the web server. Okay, so we are going to uh, trace from PCA to this web server, and uh, here is the address: uh, 2001 colon DB8 colon F colon F colon F double colon 10. Okay, we will copy that address. Yes, here it is. Now we'll come to PCA. We'll give trace search and the IP address, IPv6 address. Yes, here we can see. Here we can see the details. So, so the first IPv6 address uh, is the default gateway of a PCA. Uh, that is the IPv6 address of uh, this interface of Edge router. And uh, the second one we can see this is the IPv6 address of the router uh, in ISP2 uh, which is connecting to edge router and uh, you can see uh, this is the IPv6 address of our web server. Yes, so did the backup route work? Yes, it works. So if not, wait a few more seconds for convergence and then retest. If the backup route is still not working, investigate your floating static route configuration. Okay, here it is working perfectly. Now we will restore connectivity to the primary route. We have to go to edge router, enable configure terminal. We have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we are going to give a no shut command. We can see this interface is up now. Also, we will verify that show IPv6 route. Yes, here we can see that. Finally, uh, trace the route from PCA to the web server to verify that the primary route is uh, restored. Uh, we will come to PCA and we will trace to this web server. So, coming to command prompt, we already given that, yes. Yes, here we can see the network changes, uh, A colon 1, here we previously it was A colon 2. Uh, now it is changed to a primary default route. Well, great job. We configured the packet tracer activity, configuring floating static routes successfully. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my videos, give a thumb. Also, you can subscribe my channel to get future uploading video information into your Gmail. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.